it would be nice to have a garage to put this in. <laughs> Every snowstorm I have, this is the process if I want to keep using this thing in the winter. Fortunately, it was only a few inches of snow last night, so this isn't too bad. It is above freezing though, so it's starting to melt. In New Hampshire, we have what's called the Jessica Law. And that law requires that all vehicles not have any snow or ice on them that can go flying off on a highway and end up going through somebody's windshield, which is what happened to Jessica many years ago. So it's a good law. Um, forces us all to make sure our vehicles are completely clean of snow and ice. All right, getting ready to take off. We got the bike on and covered. The roof is cleared off. And it's time to head to the Northeast Kingdom of Vermont for a little bit of fat biking. So, should be a good weekend. to the Northeast Kingdom. I'm in East Burke. I'm parked at the uh, Tiki Hut. We're supposed to get quite a few inches of snow tonight. Maybe uh, 10 to 12 inches. So hopefully I'm not in the way of the plowing tonight and they don't kick me out of this parking lot. <laughs> I've never been up here when there's, uh, when there's a lot of snow falling. So we'll see how it goes. It's also supposed to get really cold, so we're gonna watch the temperature. But, uh, the van just shows a little bit of light. Not too bad. Relatively stealthy, although I think a camper van in a parking lot overnight will, uh, will elicit uh, suspicion one way or another. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. means dinner's done. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh yeah. Last but not least, a tapioca cup. <laughs> Thank you, Delilah. Mm. Well, after a delicious dinner and cleaning up the greasy mess, it's really not a good idea to cook hamburgers inside a small space. Oh, well, it was delicious. <laughs> Temperature's starting to drop. I set up a thermometer outside so we can uh, watch the temperature as it goes down tonight. So, so far, looks like we are at 25 degrees, if you can see that. Inside temperature is 60 and dropping. Outside is 25 and dropping. I have the uh, thermostat set for uh, about 55 degrees so it doesn't turn on a lot and wake me up. But I'll get up at some point in the middle of the night. We'll see what the temperature gets down to. We'll look at the snow. Looks like we're supposed to get over 10 inches. So that's going to be interesting. Hopefully there's no knock on the door. Good night, everyone. All right. It's 4.30 in the morning. I hear a plow out there. Let's go check it out. All right, temperature's actually gone up a little bit. 28 degrees. It's warming up. Let's turn the light on. Outside. Actually, I think the outside light was already on. <laughs> I left the outside light on. It is really coming down. And it's blowing right in the door. <laughs> ha! Huh. I don't know if I'll be doing any fat biking first thing in the morning. Woke up this morning to nine inches of snow. So <laughs> I think uh, fat biking is out today. I looked at the uh, trail conditions through the Kingdom Trails and it said fat biking would be difficult to near impossible. So fortunately, I brought my uh, snowshoes with me. Today I'll be snowshoeing. I'll be uh, camping out at a brewery tonight and then I'll try to fat biking tomorrow morning. The conditions should be pretty good. I'll have had a chance to, to groom the trails. They'll set up overnight and uh, I'll get out first thing in the morning and do some riding. So for now, I'm going to be hunkering down just a little bit, eating a delicious breakfast and heading out on the snowshoes. So I just walked over to the Kingdom Trails office. They're actually open in the winter. A couple of winters ago when I was up here, they weren't open at all. I got my map. I got a a sticker. <laughs> so uh, they confirmed that there's definitely no good fat biking today. And uh, so I asked where I could snowshoe. And I said, basically any trail, any Nordic trail or fat biking trail you can snowshoe on. Just as long as you're not in, uh, you know, just bare boots without snowshoes creating post holes. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I've got a bit of uh, clearing off to do. I'm hoping that this isn't too deep. I did bring a shovel, so I think I might just shovel out right in front of the van just so it doesn't pull anything off from underneath or get stuck. 
but uh yeah it's gonna be an adventure So I got out of that snow okay. Thank goodness for that four wheel drive, I love it. Now I'm up on Darling Hill Road and I uh, planned a little uh, two to three mile loop that I'm gonna do on snowshoes. And uh, then I'm gonna head over to uh, the Dirt Church Brewery where I'm uh, staying for the night. Ah, so the trails haven't been groomed at this point. There's a little bit of uh, snowshoers that were down here. Basically headed out from the van, headed downhill, Fox Run. Mile and a half downhill, breaking trail the whole way. About nine or 10 inches of snow. And I'm gonna turn around here, head back up, taking my jacket off, taking my hat off, taking my gloves off. <laughs> it's about 30 degrees. Whew, and this old man is going to be sweating. <laughs> I'll see you back at the top. It's Sunday morning. I've got another few inches of snow. Spent the night at Dirt Church Brewery, which was a harvest host. And the trail conditions say that it's still soft out there. So uh, I'm actually near one of the trailheads here. And I'm gonna go check out and uh, see what it looks like before I 
take the bike, take the, the cover off the bike and take the bike off the back and put all my stuff on. So, uh, and it's warming up quickly. It's already 25 degrees and it's supposed to be 30 in a couple of hours. So it doesn't look promising, but let's go check it out. Well, general rule of thumb is that if your tires sink more than a half inch into the trail, stay off the trail. Otherwise, they end up freezing up and they're really hard to groom. And uh, you can see by my footprints, even though feet sink a lot more than uh, five inch tires. I think the trails are probably too, uh, too soft. So change of plans. I think this might be the end of the weekend. I'm glad I got some snow showing in. Got a great visit at the uh, Dirt Church Brewery. They have great food, by the way, in addition to their beer. Their stout is awesome. Their uh, whiskey barrel aged porter is really good if you're up there. And uh, yeah, so I think that is it. I will catch you on the next episode of Old Man in New England. And if you like this, please subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Thank you.